One of the reasons why a lot of uh, e-commerce websites are not successful is because of the lack of email follow-ups. So let me just give you a quick scenario. So let's say you have an e-commerce website and someone comes, buys a product on your website, they get to the checkout page and pretty much they're gone to get to the receipt and end of story. Now, of course, you're going to make money, but what if you can uh, send them automated emails with other offers of the rest of the products on your website. Now, in most cases, a lot of people are going to go with this option. So if they buy product A, then you give them a discount to product B, just a one-time discount or coupon code. This is what is going to generate extra money on your website. Now, this can be done using automated emails. This is what we're going to do in today's video. So I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step how to create a WooCommerce email marketing system coming up. Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Mac and in today's video, it's all about WooCommerce email marketing. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, install WooCommerce on our website. We're going to create two products and we're also going to create a coupon code. So the automated emails are going to work in such a way that when someone buys the first product, we are going to send some automated emails with uh, discounts and coupon codes. And once we're done with that, pretty much it's all set. And every time someone buys, they are going to go through that email system. So that's what we're going to do now. So let's switch over here to my website and let's get started. So right now I'm in my uh, admin dashboard. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure you install WooCommerce. So I've gone ahead and installed WooCommerce. It's free uh, to download it and install it. You want to come over here to uh, add new and then just search for WooCommerce. Uh, over here. So I'm just going to search WooCommerce and here it is. And you can see here, mine is active. So in your case, you need to install it and activate it. The next step is to uh, install Cartflows because Cartflows makes it easy for us to design our checkout page. Okay. So I'm just going to search for Cartflows and for Cartflows, we're going to use the free version. Okay. That's going to be good enough. I'm going to click install now and then activate. The next step now is to install our email automation system and we are going to be using Fluent CRM. So I'm going to come back over here again on my plugins, click on add new and search for Fluent CRM. And here it is. I'm going to click install now and I'm also going to activate it. Now the basic Fluent CRM system, now this is the email marketing automation system that we're going to be using. This is a fairly new plugin. I've done a massive review on it and it is a fantastic product. In fact, I've moved all my emails from ConvertKit to Fluent CRM and I've saved a lot of money on my emails, on sending out emails. In fact, I was paying about $200. Well, I was very surprised today to see that I only had a bill for uh, less than $2 you know, from Amazon SES. So, this is the system that I am using on my production website. So Fluent CRM is highly recommended. And also, if you do buy it using my affiliate link, which will be in the video description below, you are going to get a 20% discount if you use the coupon code MAK. But right now, as we speak, they have a 40% off. It's a Halloween offer. So either way, if you're able to buy it today, uh, you're going to get 40% off. But if you do buy it uh, after Halloween, you're going to get 20% discount if you use my coupon code. All that information will be in the video description below. Now, on top of that, I'm also going to give you a course that teaches you how to use Fluent CRM and also how to use it on your website. So you also get a course that comes along with it, but it's provided that you've bought it using my affiliate link. All right, so let's continue here and let me show you how to install it. So uh, over here on the side, as you can see here, I took advantage of their lifetime license, which unfortunately is not available, but who knows, maybe it might come on Black Friday. But anyway, uh, here is the file. I'm gonna click here to download it. And there we go. You can see it's being downloaded here. Next, I'm going to come over here to my plugins, click on add new, and I am going to install this right away. So I'm going to click upload plugin and then just drag this over here, install now. So now the plugin is being installed and this is the paid version, right? So as you can see here, it's saying, it's saying activate. I'm going to go ahead and activate it. Now the next step is to add my license key. So I'm going to come over here to Fluent CRM, click on settings, and I'm going to skip this for now, right? So now we're going to go to settings and license management. I'm going to add my license key. Next, I'm going to click on verify license. Okay, so our license is activated. 
that's great. Now, there's a few things that you may want to go in and also set up here, and that is or your business settings. You want to give your business name here, your address. You can also upload your logo here. And on the email settings, you want to make sure you send your from email. So in this case, it's going to be mac at marketa.co.uk. In fact, I've put that on the wrong place. All right, so I'm going to enter it here. Mac. So that's optional. I'm going to leave that as it is. Hit save changes. Great. So now that we've installed our email marketing automation system on our website, we also have card flows for our checkout page and we also have WooCommerce. So this is great so far. Now the beauty of using Fluent CRM is it also has an automatic integration. So this is already done. You don't have to add any extra plugins for the integration for WooCommerce and Fluid CRM. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to create two products. So I'm gonna come over here to products and click on add new. So we're just gonna say product A, product B, product C. All right, so now I'm gonna say, so that's product A. Let's give it a description here. So here's our description. We're gonna give this a price. So we're going to say $97. So pretty much that's okay. Now, if we had a product image, we'll just add it here. In fact, you know what? I think I have some images here that I can add. And I'm just going to add this back here. Okay, so that's going to be my product A. And we also need a product description. I'm just going to add it like that and publish. So that's my first product. Now let's do product B. So I'm going to click here on add new. Let's go for product B. Our description goes in here. Now this one here is going to be $2.99. Add a description. And let's go ahead and add a product image. And again, I'm just going to choose an image here from my library. And I am going to go with, let's go with this one here. I know the images don't make sense right now, but this is just for demo purposes. Okay. Now let's add our final product, and this is going to be product C. I'm going to add our description, add the price. So this one here can be $3.99. Add our description. Okay, fantastic. Uh, let's find an image. So the image we're going to add is, all right, you know what? Let's just go with that, okay? So our product images are there now. I'm going to hit publish. Okay, great. So now that we have our three products, the next step now is to add our coupon code. So I'm going to come over here to marketing, click on coupons, and then I'm going to add a brand new coupon. All right, so let's call this 40% off. Okay, I don't need to add a description here. So here we're going to uh, add a percentage and the amount is going to be 40%. Now, obviously, over here on the expiration date, you can set an expiration date. If you're running this promotion for, let's say, a month, you can set it, you know, to run for a month. And then after that, the coupon code won't work. So it's up to you how you want to use this. And then over here on usage restriction, you can see minimum spend and all of that. So we're not going to worry about any of these. But of course, you can be very specific here with the products as well. So if you click here, you can say product... So now you can see all the products are here. So you can specify where these coupon codes are going to be used. But in this example here, we're just going to make it, you know, pretty much across the board. So that's 40% off. And in fact, let's add the 40% over here. And we can either generate a code, which is that, or uh, we can just name the code here. So let's call this Mac 40. So that's going to be the 40%. So pretty much this is our coupon code that we've just created. It's called MAC40. It's going to give them 40% off, right? And also it's going to be available for a month. I'm going to hit publish. So now that I have my coupon code set, it's time now to go ahead and set up our email automation. So I'm going to come over here to Fluent CRM, click on dashboard. So pretty much here we can set all our emails. But what I'm mostly interested in here is the automation. So if I come over here to automations, I can click here on create new automation. So you can see here the integration is there and WooCommerce is right here. Okay, so let's call this 40% offer. Okay, and then we want to make sure that our trigger here is WooCommerce. I'm going to select it. New commerce, new order. 
select that. So this funnel will start once the order will be added as processing. Okay, so let's click on continue. So now we can go in and uh, set our products and uh, do everything that we need to do. So we're going to start off with saying, okay, the status here can be subscribed. Our funnel name is 40% off. And then we also have conditions, uh, conditions here. We can target specific products. So you can see here, product A, product B, product C. So we could say, okay, you know what? When someone buys product A, that's when we need to fire off our 40% offer, okay? So we can go ahead and do that, or you can just leave it open. So when they buy either of the products, that's when the funnel is activated. So I'm gonna go with product A. Uh, I won't need to worry about the product categories. And then I'm gonna say save settings. So this now will only be activated once the WooCommerce order has started and the order is for product A, okay? Now let's start adding everything that we need to do. So we wanna say, okay, when someone buys, send them an email. So I'm gonna send custom email here. We can say 40% off, one-time offer, okay? So that's gonna be our email subject. And then I can start writing here. So I can say, hello at first name. Okay. And then I can add the contents of my email here. And let's say this is the, if you buy this product now, you get 40% off if you use coupon code MAK40. So let's add the coupon code here. There we go. And we also want to make this bold so people can see it. There we go. So MAK40, that's the coupon code. And you can also add extra items like uh, this is only available for a month. So this will be the contents of the email. And then over here, we want to say regards Mac. Okay. So that's the email that they first get when they buy product A. So this is saying, hey, product B has a an offer and use coupon code MAK40. Great. So now that we have this, uh, this email, I mean, we can go in and uh, also customize this. You can add buttons, you can add colors. There's a lot that you can do with uh, this email builder here, but all this is included in my course, which you get absolutely free if you buy or when you buy Fluent CRM. So just let me know once you've bought it and I'll give you access to the course. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on save settings. So you can see here, once they buy the first product, this email gets sent out immediately. But let's say you want to delay a little bit, okay? You don't, want to happen, you don't want this to happen immediately. What you can do is you can click here and then you can say wait. And you can say wait a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Okay, change it here to minutes, save settings. Okay, so when someone buys, they wait 10 minutes and then you get the 40% offer here, which is fantastic. So uh, let's say you also want to add uh, something else and you want to tag that customer, right? So you can come over here and let's add a tag. So you can say apply tag and you can select the tag. Now here we don't have any tags selected or we haven't even created the tag. So what you can do now is click this plus button and we can say bought product A, add. So now if I click on this drop down, I can now choose my tag, okay? So what, we, what we've done here is when someone comes over here, they buy the product A, they wait 10 minutes and we send them an email with the first offer and then we apply a tag. Now this tag is very important because we now know that this customer here <laughs> that bought product A has bought product A because they have the tag. So next time I need to send an email out, I know exactly who I'm sending the email out to. So I could send an email specifically for anyone that bought product A. I can also send an email out to the people that bought product B. I can also send an email to those people that bought product C. So do you see now how powerful this system is? So by tagging your customers and also sending custom emails, this makes this whole system work like a machine. And all this is happening behind the scenes. All you have to do is to set it up once and you are good to go. Now, I know I haven't gone into detail and started designing, you know, the product pages and so on and so forth. I will leave this for um, other uh, videos. But for now, as you can see here, we can automate this and this looks really, really awesome. In fact, you know what? I can even add the tag straight away just after 
the customer has bought this product A. So I want to apply the tag straight away after they've bought it, wait 10 minutes, and then send a custom email. Now, we can also set other conditions, right? That let's say they haven't bought it, right? They've just uh, ignored it or they haven't gone on for the offer. We can, you know, just leave the funnel as it is and not send other, and not send other emails. But let's say you want to be a bit more persistent. You can say, you know what? I want to send another email uh, with a reminder, okay? So let's wait now a day. So I'm going to say one, and then here we have uh, days. I'm going to say save. So I'm going to say, okay, wait one day, right? And then I send another email. So I'm going to come over here to custom emails, and then I can add my email subject here. So I can say offer is running out or time is running out or something. Okay, so you can see here our email title says time, uh, time is running out. Get your 40% off discount. And then you can go ahead by writing your email here. So you can say hello at first name, add our email contents here, add your coupon code. And then once you're done with that, you can hit on save settings. Okay, so now that's your second email. So as you can see here, it says time is running out, get your 40% off. So you send the first email, wait a day, and then send the second email. Now, there are chances that not everyone is going to go for this offer, but at least if, say, 2% goes for that offer, this is a 2% which you wouldn't have made if you didn't set up this email automation. So as you can see, this is a very, very powerful system. I highly recommend it. Like I said, all the uh, information for the plugins that I use here are all in the video description below. They all come with discounts and the bonuses are the free courses. All right, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell notification. By doing so, you'll be notified when I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.